Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a fun get ready with me playing with some new unique makeup brands. Um, a few of these are completely new to me and I'm so excited to give them a try. So the first thing is we will be using a few products from Oak Essentials. This is Jenny Kane's beauty brand. I have been so excited to give these a try. So I have two of their best sellers that we're going to be putting on my face today, as well as a perfume from Oak Essentials. I'm so excited to share my thoughts on those products. I also have a brand called Flight 7.0. Oh, and this makeup brand is specifically geared for grown-ups. I just love the ethos of this brand. I cannot wait to share a little information on Flight 7.0. And I also have a few fun products from Swede Beauty. I don't know about you, but I've been seeing them all over Instagram and I have been sucked down the rabbit hole. I don't have everything that I have ordered from them, but I've got a few pieces and I thought, let's just go ahead, put this on my face, do a casual get ready with me today, playing with some of these unique beauty brands. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, good morning. I am back home from my little trip to LA. As you can see, we desperately need to put some makeup on this face and I have got a bunch of fun goodies. So today I thought we would do a little mishmash of products, um, put them on my face and hope for the best. So two items that I have to share with you is I have already cleansed my skin, I have toned it, and then I have two products from Oak Essentials. And this is Jenny Kane's um, skincare brand that I have been dying to try. It's been getting a ton of press and great reviews. So kind of wanted to try. Um, basically this moisture rich balm has been calling my name for quite some time. And then I got the Oak Essentials um, Ritual Oil. So I'm going to be putting those on my skin today. Day. So you're going to see a little bit of the prep, behind the scene prep. But before I get started, I am going to prep my lips. I am obsessed with the Guerlain, these new Kiss Kiss B lip oils, these glow oils. They're so good. Love, love, love. And this one is in the Rosy Pop shade. And I'm just going to Put a little bit of that on my lips to prep them. Love. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple drops of the Ritual Oil here. And what I love is this includes blue tansy oil in it. And if you've ever used anything with blue tansy oil in it, it smells freaking amazing. So it's got a little bit of a blue tint to it. And I am just going to put some of this blue tansy oil on my skin. It smells so good. And this oil is basically like adding a little nutrition to your skin. So if you want to think of like giving your skin like a salad, <laughs> that's what I think about this oil. It includes all the good stuff for your skin and it gives me such a nice glow. My skin just sort of soaks it up. And this is not a very heavy oil and I cannot express to you enough how amazing this smells. It's that blue tansy oil. It's just 
amazing. This also includes jojoba oil, barrage seed oil, marula seed oil, and of course the blue tansy oil. So this is just going to sink into my skin and I just uh, love it. I am a fan of face oils. And then the next step is I'm going to use the oak essentials. This is their moisture rich balm and the texture of this was just calling my name. So many people on Instagram it was saying they stopped wearing foundation because they were using this moisture rich balm. Now I'm somebody who's probably always going to wear a little touch of foundation, but I love the idea of kind of sealing in this face oil with this balm and it has the most amazing texture. So I'm taking a pea size amount of this and I just want to show you how easy this just melts into my hand and becomes this really beautiful rich moisturizer. So if you're somebody who has dry skin like myself, you might be just obsessed with this. And even if you don't have dry skin, this is going to melt into my skin. You'll see in a minute. And right now you might be like, whoa, that's like really um, glowy or greasy, but it is going to sink into my skin in just a minute. It feels like such a sort of luxurious spa-like experience. And I like to just take a couple minutes here to kind of massage this into my skin, kind of wake my skin up just a bit. You could get your gua sha out and just like really go ahead and do a little lymphatic draining as well. I'm just going to use my hands this morning and I'm just kind of massaging this into the skin here. little bit up and to underneath the eyes up into my brow area and just really spending a minute to kind of massage this face balm oil into my skin. The Moisture Rich Balm is more than a moisturizer. This hardworking face balm is your skin's secret weapon. It is ideal for soothing dry or irritated skin. The Moisture Rich Balm is formulated with natural hydrating healers that support your skin's ability to maintain moisture while providing lasting and nourishing antioxidant benefits. The ingredients in here are sea buckthorn fruit oil, barrage seed oil, organic cacao seed butter, and organic coconut oil. So one note that I do want to highlight is some people have trouble with the ingredient of coconut oil. Um, they feel that it can clog their pores and such. I have never really had any issues with coconut oil, but I will continue to kind of use this and I'll give you an update. But I was excited to try out that duo because it just sort of sounded like it would be perfect for my more dry, mature skin. Now the next step is the most important step out of all the things that I use. And I always say that your number one anti-ager is always going to be sunscreen. And that is like the one that I know a lot of people don't like the feel of it on their skin, but I have found like the most amazing sunscreen. And this is from Bloom Effects. This is their Tulip Dew Sunscreen Serum. It is a all mineral sunscreen. It is an SPF of 50. It is hydrating and I just cannot give it enough praise. That's how much I love it. And this is one that I actually have a discount code to, so I love sharing that as well. But I was loving it so much that the company gave me a discount code, so I was so excited about that. So, so the code is ABBY20 for 20% 20 
off and so many of you have bought this sunscreen you love it as much as I do and it is slightly tinted but you will see I'm going to take two pumps here of this sunscreen and then I am going to put this on my skin here and you'll see the tint just sort of blends in here and this will all sink in. I know I look a little glowy and hydrated here right now, but this is going to sink in to the skin and then we will be able to apply all the rest of my makeup. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna fix my hair as well. We're doing a little real kind of get ready together today. Now, I have recently discovered a new brand of makeup that is specifically designed for more mature skin. And this brand is called Flight 7.0. And I love the ethos behind this brand because it is all about embracing aging. This is makeup for grown-ups. It's a modern brand. And I always laugh because I tell my daughter that I still think I'm 28 even though I am 55. But I am young at heart and that I just don't feel my age. And this whole brand is all about embracing that idea and using products that don't work against you and your more mature skin, um, using products that are actually designed for skin of my ilk. So, so excited about this. And, and one of the products that I have fallen in love with is the Glow Back. This is their Global Prep step and this is going to create a nice base for the skin and this product is very hydrating it's going to give your skin a nice sheer glow but it's not going to be frosty or glittery or anything like that um, it actually almost has like a cooling effect on the skin and this is something that you can wear on its own or underneath your favorite foundation It just feels so good. And I don't know if you can see, but it's just giving me a really pretty glow. But again, it isn't like super frosty or um, glittery. So I'm loving that. And since we're gonna be doing a quick and easy makeup look today, it's all gonna come together. You are just really seeing me from behind the scenes here. Um, I pulled out my Kosas Concealer. I am loving this in the new shade 2.6C. And I am gonna use this as my foundation and concealer today. And I'm just kind of taking this And then I will buff this into my skin. I'm using BK Beauty Brush in 106. And I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Give us a nice little base here. Okay, we've got a little bit of a quick and easy base on. I know I look really tired. I am still recovering from my trip to LA with my sisters where we did the half marathon. And then I came back and I've had some allergies. So if my eyes look a little puffy. Um, everything bloomed while I was gone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Westman Atelier 
my face trace contour in Biscuit, my favorite. We're gonna kind of warm up the skin today with that cream product. And I just like to kind of come up, shorten my forehead. I like to come across my eye, down the nose on each side, shorten that across the eye for a little definition and then just a little bit under sculpting the chin area. And then I will take my beauty blender from her and I'm just going to buff this into the skin. Then we're going to liven up my skin with one of my G Beauty color sticks and this one is in Pinky Beam and this is just going to liven up my complexion. I love these little color sticks. Again, don't worry. We are going to blend everything in but it kind of livens up the complexion. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender. I'm going to take my same brush here and I'm just gonna kind of dab that into the skin. See that little fresh radiant glow? Love it. Okay, we are warming up the skin and then another awesome product I have from Flight 7.0. This is the Color Back Burnished Bronzer. And check this beauty out. It is so beautiful. And I just love that it's got multiple colors in here. So it's gonna give you, you know, a more natural look. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep a little bit over here like this. And then we are gonna apply some of this bronzer on the skin. And I love to use this as eyeshadow too. So it's just gonna kind of warm up my skin. And to me, this gives such a natural kind of glow here. Isn't that pretty? It just includes all the different shades, so it really does look um, very natural. And then what I like to do is take a big fluffy brush here, and I just kind of go all the way down, just kind of on the squiggles. And then I'm going to be using that on my eyes, and you'll see it's picking up all the different colors. So I've got a little built-in eyeshadow here. Okay, we've got a little bit of bronzer as eyeshadow, and then I have a few items from Swede beauty and yes i want to get that glass skin foundation that they just launched um, this brand is very intriguing to me and today we're going to be using one of their satin coal eyeliners this one is in dusty brown i'm going to use that as my eyeliner just a really nice coal eyeliner along with their mascara. Number one, how cute is this packaging? But the little clouds on the package is so cute. And this is the cloud mascara. And then I also have a little lip liner that we're gonna be using. So first of all, let me use this coal eyeliner. I am going to, I'm gonna go in, wiggle this coal eyeliner close to the lash line and then smoke it out. I do love coal eyeliners because they're essentially like a little smudgy eyeshadow and that is a really easy to use coal eyeliner. Just gonna kinda thicken the line up at the third of 
my eye here and we'll smoke that out in two seconds and again I'm suffering from some allergies this morning so I did put in some eye drops but one of my eyes is still just a little strained so I apologize this is not the product's fault um, this is me we had a few like fabulous days here in Portland where everything bloomed and I love the beauty of it <laughs> but then comes the allergies along with it as well and then I'm just taking a little flat edged brush and kind of smoking that out actually I didn't really even need to do that the coal eyeliner was staying in place so I might go back in with a little bit more so I'm smoking this out but realizing that I didn't need to so I'm going to come back in again and that is good to know so these coal eyeliners like really stay in place um you definitely can smudge them out but I was liking the way it looked but I thought it might move around and it doesn't so really enjoying this pencil there we go okay a little definition near the lash line and then let's give this cloud mascara a try from Swede Swede Beauty is a clean and vegan makeup brand and the Cloud Mascara is a clean mascara that's going to give you maximum volume and limitless length in a blink. This is an award-winning, beautifying, volumizing mascara that is going to precisely separate each and every lash from root to tip for a dramatic fan-like effect that take your lashes beyond your imagination. Okay, here is what that mascara looks like. And they are correct in that this really does give you a very fluttery fan-like effect on the eyes. So I'm excited about that mascara. And then I also have one of their lip liners that is supposed to kind of give you a natural pout. And I have this in the shade Dream Bigger. And here is what that color looks like. And here is what that shade looks like. On one end, you have sort of a lip liner and then on the other, nice creamy pencil. So I am going to line my lips here. Actually filling in my lips with this color just a little bit. So I'm really liking that color and then I pulled out my Lawless Forget the Filler and this one is in Nudie. Kind of your perfect little nude gloss here. I think it's going to look perfect on top of this lip liner. That is a good little combo. So just apply this on top. Show you the shade on my hand here. And then on my lips feels so good. Okay, everything feels so good. Again, I'm doing quick and easy makeup, kind of um, makeup on the go, radiant makeup. And then I was so excited because little did I know, Jenny Kane actually sells perfume, one of my favorite brands. And this is Violet Santal. And I have to say, I'm so excited about this. And yes, 
I have already been playing with this perfume from Jenny Kane. I will read you the notes first and then kind of give you my thoughts on this perfume. Okay, so the notes in here obviously are violet. So if you're somebody who loves a little touch of violet in your fragrances, I think you might like this. This also has crisp amber and California woods. This is described as a vibrant take on the coastal nostalgia. So I have been lucky enough to spend some time um, on the Monterey Peninsula and when I sprayed this on it just completely reminded me of that exact zone like especially the Carmel area um, where it is such a beautiful coastal city but it is kind of rugged there's a lot of these gorgeous trees and it had almost like a little bit of that smell coming in from the ocean that fogginess that is there with those big stately trees. Um, if you've been to that area and you know what I'm talking about, this is what that perfume smells like. It smells like Northern California, Monterey Peninsula area to me, and it is just the perfect everyday scent. So when you think of Jenny Kane clothes, basically she's all about classics, the cashmere sweaters. Um, huge Jenny Kane fan because it's just sort of like a no-brainer. Like her clothes um, are all about sort of that California lifestyle, casual but elegant, quality fabrics, quality sweaters, and this scent smells like Northern California. It smells a little bit earthy in the best way possible as if I am walking out um, and taking in a big breath of air from the Pacific Ocean this is what I envision and it's just like an easy wear this is like a no-brainer you're gonna spray it on after your shower anytime you want to feel a little bit fresh and clean but I do love that this has a soft floral in it as well so this is not too feminine it is not too masculine kind of right in the middle and it is just really a great everyday scent office appropriate this is like the best scent to wear like when you are traveling on an airplane and you want to smell good but you don't want to overpower your seatmate this is another this would be the perfect perfume for that so so excited to finally try out a few of these products here from flight 7.0 as well as swede beauty and yes i am trying that glass skin foundation that is on its way but so far all the things that i have tried i have really enjoyed i'm really loving the ritual oil from Jenny Kane. This rich balm is outstanding as well. Just need to note that this does include coconut oil. So for those of you that are sensitive to that ingredient, that will be a pass for you. And then when I was in LA, my daughter made me pop into Lululemon. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of the color pink. And lo and behold, they had the scuba half zip in pink and I was like oh my gosh I love the Lululemon scuba zip ups and half zips they're just one of my favorite things to wear to the gym to travel on the airplane and I could not resist this adorable pink so this is the Lululemon half zip in this beautiful pink tone and I paired it with my Dolce Vita sneakers which have a little touch of pink here kind of having fun with a little spring color. So just wanted to pop on, do a casual get ready with you today using some of these fun products that I have hauled recently. And I hope everybody has an amazing weekend and I will be back with another video soon.